Hello and welcome. This is Jesse from Illumio and today I will be showing you how to use the Edifact file format within Illumio. Well, this video will show you the Edifact format. You can also use any other EDI based file format. Um, without further ado, let's dive into the use case. So what we start with is a internal storage from Illumio and the storage contains a, a normalized EDI uh, object. Um, within Illumio, you will always be working with JSON files. And um, no matter if you're getting XML data and sending out EDI data, there will always be a translation from XML to JSON. Then within the platform, within Illumio, you will use the JSON uh, format. And then just before sending out the data, you can translate it to whatever it needs to be. If you're going to work with EDI or with Edifact in this case, um, there's a certain um, data format that you need to adhere to. So if we take a look within the storage, we can see an example of such a, a data format. So this example um, represents a order within Edifact, but obviously we can um, um, support any, any data type. Um, so what we then have within Illumio is a route. And a route basically consists out of two, uh, two components. One part or one component is the incoming configuration, which imports the data to Illumio. So in this case, it's going to get a, um, th yeah, the object that I just showed you from the storage. And it has an outgoing configuration that does the exporting of the data to the external system, which in this example will be an SFTP environment, which I prepared here within my FTP client. And that's currently empty. But what we're going, going to do is we are going to pull the file from the storage translate the file to Edifact, and then move this file to the SFTP environment. Um, so in a real case scenario, you would might, uh, you would probably connect to like your ERP system, get like an order, get like a purchase order, transform this into the Edifact format, and then send it to SFTP through your trading partner, but maybe also to AS2 or any other uh, connectivity method. Um, so let's start by running the incoming configuration. I will run the incoming configuration. We can see that the subscriber has been consumed. Now, when I go to the dashboard, we can see that we have one new task. I will click on this one new task uh, and open it. Now, when I move to the entity data, we can indeed see this um, EDI effect like JSON structure in the task. We also have some import messages, which right now don't contain a lot of information, but if you're going to connect to like your ERP system, you would see all the API calls and all the data transactions going on here. And then at some point when this uh, task is being exported to your trading partner, um, you would see that communication available here. So what I will do is I will go um, to the, the overview, click to the route, and I will press run route. Okay, so now it's running the route. So now what it will do, it will translate the, um, the JSON file to Edifact and then publish it to the SFTP environment. Now, if I go back to the tasks, we can indeed see that the last task is now finished. If we go back to the um, FTP environment and we refresh this, we can indeed see we have a new file here. Now, let me um, download the file locally. Let me open it in the finder so we have it here. Let me go to my EDI uh, ID, sorry, and open the file. And as you can see, this now contains the normalized Edifact file. And again, um, this specific example shows the Edifact and then more specifically D96A, um, but obviously you can implement any EDI based method using, the, uh, using Illumio. Hopefully you learned something today and uh, best of luck implementing EDI within your own integrations.